What is up guys? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. Today, we are now looking into 3045 and um, we recently made a video about PJ04, which have now reached close to half a billion power, which is crazy. 400 million now, insane. So today we have the leadership in here. We have um, Retad and over here is Retad and then over onto this area, we also have S. MD. Now, if you guys want to know more about their names, you guys can always DM them because there's a meaning behind their names. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey. What's up, man? So, just introduce yourself because people want, need to know who's who on the voice. So, I got you. So, I'm SMD. Nice and to I'm meet you. I'm Retad. Awesome. All right. So, you know, having PJ04 in your kingdom, it's brought a spotlight. So how is that affecting everything within the game? Um, well, honestly, you can go ahead. Uh, uh, I mean, we're getting a lot of migration requests for after KVK1 and, like, same season right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you can go SMD. Yeah, it's mostly what we get. So, as of right now, you know, having PJ around, you know, brings a lot of attention and spotlight to our kingdom. And as of, you know, we finished the list of migration cross season, uh, the migration list, like, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. We finished it. We got some migrants, you know, some tier 4 and tier 4.5, you know, having them in the middle with good gear. That's what our mainly, you know, concern. Mm-hmm. So we have that done, honestly, but what we're worried about is the, the snipers, the cross migration snipers. Oh, I see. You know, a lot of tension, a lot of tension can bring, you know, bad stuff to the kingdom, but it's always good to have, you know, a spotlight and attention for more, you know, for more fighters to come to the kingdom. I'd always love more fighters. But as of right now, the migration is full. You know, I've, I'm getting, I've been getting a lot of me uh, messages about migrating to our kingdom. But it's just, you know, hard since our migration is full at the moment. I see. Um, looking into your alliances, you know, there seems to be not a whole lot of, like, whales. Maybe I think I can only see is PJ's whale or Kraken. And then there's a few who are, like, maybe medium spender. Whom I would say those who are above 10 million. Um, so how you guys are going to be prepared for KVK and, you know, with the migrants that you guys are going to be accepting, have you guys accepted any whales moving into KVK? Uh, yes. So right now we have, let me count. We have one, two, three, we have four upcoming tier five, you know, by the time KVK one is up, we'll have them, you know, all tier five, good, uh, you know, commanders, Max, Martel. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to, you know, use the special tickets, the special tickets to use on the, on the tier five. We're trying to recruit, you know, same season, of course, you know, for KVK one. For KVK, yeah. So, okay, at least you guys got some, you know, depth coming into KVK one. So tell me about your uh, history in your kingdom right now. How stable it is, you know. I'm sure you guys have some civil war. Um, you know, what's the status right now? Should people be concerned in future um, instability or no? Um, we had no civil war. It was just like small burning of alliances. Like not really a civil war, but it's just burning small alliances, making room. Um, I mean, no wars, we're stable. Pretty peaceful. Yeah. So, in, in that piece, down. how much does PJ affect the piece? Um, in the beginning, we had to use them, but now we're, it, we're using, like, the upcoming T5, like, the 20 mils, um, what, 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 uh, coming. Okay. 
and lucky. Well, speaking of uh, PJ as well, um, what is your experience with him? Like, what is he like? You know, being this <laughs> top dog. You know, is he chill? Is he you know? Does he communicate a lot? Like, we want to know a little bit more. Um, what type of person he is? Because in my experience, I spoke to him um, on Discord. He seems pretty, you know, pretty chill, and he says he's from UK. Mm -hmm. He's pretty. He's really friendly. You know, he he's he's always like you know looking for. He's looking at both sides. You know, let's just say there's a war. Mm -hmm. He's trying to. He's always looking at both sides. You know, who's coming from which side. Uh, my experience with PJ is awesome. Honestly, um, when I was at forty with him. We were in the same alliance. My alliance was like top five, top six, I believe. And we wanted a level three tab. I don't know if Free Tab remembers this. But mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we dropped the fort near the level three pass and then his alliance just came. Oh wow. And then just started zeroing my whole alliance. I mean it wasn't mine. I wasn't off R four over there, but you know, I talked to him and then you know, he spared me. <laughs> And then I guess me and him just been friends ever since, you know. Mm, that's good. That's good. That's some good uh, highlight there for him. But what about like, you know, in in, in here, like in the interaction with all the members, like, um, he he doesn't talk that much in alliance chat, mm -hmm. but with R four, mostly me and SMD, he talks with me and. I, him the most and then we if we need to relay a message we relay the message and how active is he like is he participating in all the events um or is he just dropping cash powering up and then kind of just chilling um he he rallied he rallied um all of the shrines i'm pretty sure okay. maybe one they didn't try he didn't um he He's active when he needs to be active. Like we'll tell him it, he needs to be on for something, and he'll he'll get on. He'll be online. So he, he okay. He does block some time for the game, which is good. Um, that's good. All right. So now let's get back to another question for the kingdom. Um, with you guys are coming into KVK one, you know, you guys are pretty set on migration. But in the future, you'll have. You know, opening up for another migration. I'm sure after this video, probably more inquiries about it as well. Uh, can you give us like, you know, the time zones? You know, where you guys are pretty much based in. You know, because I know you both of both of you guys are Americans. You know, in the U.S., so your time zone is U.S. But what about most of the people within the kingdom? So when people apply, they kind of understand what they're getting into. So. Our kingdom is like not mostly, but like you know, there's a part of the kingdom is Vietnamese, which is awesome because like I'll, I'm always playing with Vietnamese players, uh -huh. which is you know when we sleep, you know like some of our R fours when I sleep, you know we tell them to do this that you know they know what to do, uh -huh. since you know while we sleep they're they're awake, which is you know that's perfect for war, you know always having uh, mixed R fours, you know uh -huh. for the ones that want to sleep, you know. Other players will be on, and the ones that sleep, you know, basically taking turns, uh, doing you know activities for the alliance. But for the kingdom, I'd say it's like mostly Vietnamese and Turkish players, some in there, and you know, just like mixed, honestly. So how do you communicate also, with them? Players. Um. Because it's hard too sometimes because they don't really yeah the uh, translation barriers screws it up sometimes pretty pretty good pretty easily um, just with the translator and chat okay most of the most of the time that works um, sometimes you have translate. to yeah I was gonna say sometimes you have to just use Google Translate and go and start talking in their language so they understand easier got it now you said there's a lot of vietnamese you know so a lot of asian people in the game in here and in, in your server how did you guys manage to be the leading alliance in here i mean having two americans to lead it you know because usually when there's like jumper groups like even vietnamese groups they'll be the one leading the kingdom so how did this manage and did pj um having pj in your alliance right away um you know 
uh, affected a lot of things or not. And uh, because I remember PJ said that he just kind of like randomly made his account in this kingdom without any plans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I made, he made the account. I made the account two days later with him because uh-huh. he said he needed help. Okay. Uh, SND, I asked him to come over and help. I brought a lot of players here. Like, there was a gr- a jump group to thirty forty, and we brought them all oh, here. I see. They were also playing with us like forty thirty nine. Most of the players here that we know are from our old KVK, for our, yeah, with our mains. I see. So you did kind of form the group in here, and that also eventually helped to um, yeah secure your uh, leadership in here in in, in the in the kingdom. Yes. There was like one group of people that did not like it because like they were they were original council and then uh, they got booted out because they were like twelfth alliance. I see. They were experienced, not in a bad way. You know, they just I'm gonna tell you like they wanted you know the you know the shrines the, in zone two. Yeah. They wanted to split them all within the alliance like. All type eight, top eight, get one shrine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah. just like it was, that was really like awkward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna work that way. Yeah, so too spread like, out, yeah. you'll be weak. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, way too spread out. Yeah, they wanted like all top top eight wanting a shrine. You know, that was like we can't do that. So this was a civil war that happened. You guys fought, I assume. No, it was, it was no, we didn't fight over. It was all over talking. I was oh, all yeah. Okay, it's all we didn't, we didn't fight. All right. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, you did say there's no civil war. Yeah. So, they eventually cool. migrated out because they didn't like it, and then they got zeroed in that KD uh, in that kingdom wherever they went. And yeah, that sucks. So another thing that I noticed, and one thing that you guys have mentioned, is that in your kingdom, apparently you guys have a lot of base. So <laughs> what is it like? You know. To be in the leadership, you guys get a lot of, you know, base. And maybe there's people that migrating in here, reaching out in here because maybe they only want to be with some of the base in the, in in the kingdom. What's your opinion about that? Honestly, I like it because it brings a lot of fighters in the in the kingdom. But if you if you're gonna be after you know the base and not gonna fight, you know, just might as well buy a ticket, please. <laughs> So, because I love fighters, honestly, you know. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like farmers. Yeah. I'm a direct person. Some people sometimes. The only reason I like farmers is because they give you resources to fight. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So, have you guys been flooded with bay bay messages or no? Being leadership. No. No. I don't get that. I think PJ gets the most. Oh, PJ. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. PJ feels it all. PJ be the sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he God. just puts around. <laughs> that's why he moves around different alliances, huh? Because like, that's what I've heard. He moves around different alliances, dropping chests, right? Uh, he was doing that, yeah. yeah. And then um, now it's just he stays in G. So, but yeah, looking into your kingdom right now, I do see a lot of um, bays in there. Maybe your kingdom is the most bay right now in the early kingdom probably hopefully think it stays have... like that too. huh hopefully, hopefully it stays, it stays like, like that, that. <laughs> yeah because like when it comes to kvk1 you know mid kvk after kvk people tend to quit a lot oh yeah because yeah, they get zeroed because they don't know how to how to fight so when you go on and discord then... you actually you know they actually get involved with you guys in discord and speak and interact yes Yes, yeah, we have a, a Kingdom Discord, which, so you know... It's 100%. They're not man with a bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So, you, <laughs> anyone is looking for a, a Kingdom, you know, one day, you know, maybe in the <laughs> future, as long as they keep their base in here, you guys can <laughs> can reach out to the leadership as well, um, into Retad and uh, SMD. What about your other R four? Do you want to give me a highlight besides you know both of you? What about the other ones in here? Uh, there's Cole, who looks like he's a pothead. Um, 
<laughs> uh, well, Cole was uh, with us in 40. So, yeah. uh, so with Peace, he was also with us. Okay. Uh, they were in 40. They were our force from a different alliance. That my alliance and their alliance were rivals. We were always competing for top seven or six, I believe. I see. It was, and, uh, yeah, it was six and seven because mine was f- five. What about the other ones? I guess they're my, they're new. Like, let's see Vietnamese players in here. Yes. All right. Yeah, like Eve, I am Vin, and I don't know how to pronounce the other girl's name. Tat. Not, not her, oh, the one Tat under Fong. her. Tat Fong. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I see. Danary, uh, that's a uh, royal girl, you know, royal <laughs> squad. That's his girl. Who's royal squad? He's that's a, the other R4. R4 or... Or... He's, not he's in eight right now. He's in he's in eight right now. Oh, this is his R four slash R five. Yeah, that's his wife. That's his wife. Yo, guys, <laughs> don't don't fucking message Danery. She's taken already. <laughs> his account. She his gonna main be... account is very powerful. She's has a main account. She'll zero you. <laughs> now, what happened to Cole, man? He smoked too much pot. He's not like powering up here. <laughs> <laughs> he made the account a bit late. <laughs> I think he made it around when we got to Z Z three. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you guys got some interesting members in here in your in your kingdom. I know. So, you guys have anything like to give out a message to maybe your kingdom to your, uh, you know, fellow players alliance and I don't know who your allies is in in the KVK um, coming up. So our alliance allies are uh, 30, 30, 47. So it is thirty forty seven, and so it's gonna be a two yeah. versus two KVK. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a two v one v one because yeah. the other two don't want to. <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they messed up. <laughs> forty eight. So forty eight had a big civil war. You know, uh, a Chinese group migrated in and basically took over the king. You oh, know, God. they took they took the king. So they they migrated to us. You know, the old leadership. Uh-huh. 45 they migrated to us we made space for them and the top six alliances and then 46 is just a bunch of like idiots to be honest with you <laughs> they're they're very they are, they're very yeah, cocky they talk a lot you know their ego is very very high uh-huh. so my plan is to shut them down in less than an hour in, in king's land less okay. than an hour that's my plan because they talk bad about all <laughs> all three of the you know regions not regions the kingdoms the same region we're in mm-hmm. they talk bad about all three of us are they strong or no uh, um, yeah, like, the top, the top alliance yeah, is 800 like, yeah 800 million they have a 300 million player two. no no no, they, no their top alliance, alliance is 800 million oh okay so what about 47 so you guys are allies 47 I assume it's a good relationship yes it's very great you know, we hit it off, like, at first. We started talking to him. I hit him up, you know. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, let's form an ally, ally, you know, for KVK1. And then they were down with, you know, cool people. I think they're they're, they're in Europe, you know, so good time zone for KVK, of I course. See. That's good. All I right. think Europe or Asia. I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, speaking of Asia, also, like, I saw a lot of Filipinos as well in your kingdom. So, you know, there's a yeah, lot of Filipinos to play the game. Um, yeah. Last message, because we're gonna try to wrap things up in here. Um, you know, message to your kingdom. To who, you know, I'm sure you guys are gonna share the video, and uh, you know what you guys want to tell them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you want to come to the kingdom, make sure to message me or Royal Squad. No, 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 no. I'm saying about your current players. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, you don't have love for your players, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, let me just think about something um i love you guys all coming from snd if you have some resources you know give me some you know what i'm saying <laughs> are you some after a day you know make sure to message me <laughs> dude i got offered resources like yesterday oh wow that's nice and to my vietnamese players i love you guys all uh, the vietnamese players and other and other players yeah, but, you know vietnamese i love them all all the Vietnamese players. What about My what favorite. about retired? What do you got to say? Uh, 
thank you all for uh, actually staying with us and not leaving. I think that's PJ. <laughs> PJ is keeping you here. <laughs> no, I see. <laughs> it seems like PJ says he's going to play this this account well. Um, I think he's going to be here for a while because he said oh, he, yeah. he's serious about this one. He, the only other only reason he didn't p- play in the other one was just because he real life problems. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so I think you were trying to mention about the people who are trying to come into your kingdom. Let's get that. Let's get back to that one. So, last thing you gotta say to those people who are looking into thirty forty five, go. Please message me or Royal Squad in the um, SMD. Okay. Please don't come in here illegally because you will be zeroed, just like the other players that were zeroed. You know, I don't want you guys to quit the game so early on. So please message me if you want to come. <laughs> That's all. Uh, Awesome. What about you, Retired? Anything to say? Uh, not really. I just, I mean, I can't really say anything. Just message SMD or Royal Squad. Come here if you want. Don't steal our our uh, spots. Hmm. Awesome. Well, that's good. Guys, thank you for, so much for doing this collaboration. And I'll definitely keep in contact with you guys and see how your KVK goes. So I'm sure you guys will secure the victory since this is uh, two versus one versus one, which is pretty odd. But I think that's going to be an easy victory for for your uh, kingdom. Awesome. Thank you guys for doing this. Peace yeah, out. Okay.